Hi everyone, this is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. This video is about mask use and also at the end of the video we'll be talking about can masks cause acne flares, so stay tuned. <music> in early April, about April 3rd, that everyone should be wearing a mask when outdoors. There's this type of mask, a DIY or a homemade mask that this was um, given to me uh, as a gift. I made a post last month about how PPE and masks were scarce in the hospitals and I was very concerned for my wife's safety. So a physician mailed this to me. I've never met her, but thank you so much for uh, such a thoughtful gift and for reading my posts on uh, social media. But this is uh, something that people are doing, can be very creative with the nice designs. This is a beautiful mask here. The other type of mask that you can consider would be a medical grade mask. When you wear this though, make sure that you know what's inside and what's outside. Uh, you can tell there's writing on the outside here. That's how you know that should be outwards. And there's a, um, hard, firm component to the top part of the mask. That's how you know it is the superior or top end of the mask. Don't flip it around. This is what is important to conform to your nose. Which is nice because you have straps on the side that go around your ear as so. So this is nice because you don't have to touch at all towards the face. So always um, wash your hands or sanitize before touching your mask and putting it on over your ears. And then when you have clean hands, you're gonna adjust the bridge of the nose to conform to your nose so that it has a nice tight seal there. So if you're wearing glasses, you don't, you have less chances of fogging up. And that's another issue is that people have fogging of their glasses and you have to keep readjusting. Well, the main goal is to prevent touching your face once you have the mask on. You want it to seal really nicely over the top of the, um, just under the eyes and over the nose and also the chin area. And also you want it to conform nicely and not have any spaces here on the sides as much as possible, okay? So um, when you're done with your mask, wash your hands really well or sanitize and then take off and minimize touching your face. You can wash your hands again before um, going about your day. And then also you can store these in a uh, brown paper bag, a plastic bag, um, brown paper bag seems to be preferred to, for healthcare workers because it has less chances of condensation just sitting there. And so a brown paper bag is preferred. Okay, another type of mask that we've mentioned before uh, are N95 masks. And I have this nice bag of fresh, brand new N95 masks that uh, these have the best filtration efficiency versus these have probably the least filtration efficiency. So our healthcare workers are needing these in the hospital especially when in contact with someone with known COVID-19. So these are um, very good, uh, we talked about for filtration purposes, but they are the most traumatizing to our face. So as you can see on social media, on the news, a lot of our nurses and uh, doctors are having really deep indentation, bruising, even breaks of the skin, which is very unfortunate, but they have to wear these all day long to uh, protect themselves. So. You know, we've done uh, an Instagram campaign where I've given out uh, donations of moisturizers to our nurses just to show our appreciation, but also to help protect their hands while they're washing their hands all day long. I've definitely had that issue in clinic, washing my hands like crazy. Um, you need 20 seconds of hand washing uh, for it to be appropriate. And then also um, moisturizers for our hands afterwards because we don't want dry, cracked, fissured hand dermatitis. For masks though, we wanna protect the facial skin with a good moisturizer. So what I recommend would be to cleanse your face in the morning with a gentle cleanser. Don't uh, try to avoid any BHA-based uh, cleansers like salicylic acid. You wanna stick with something like Cetaphil, and we'll talk about that soon. And um, after that, you would moisturize with um, like your favorite light moisturizer, maybe something with niacinamide in it, like CeraVe. Elta MD has niacinamide in it, so it keeps your, keep your pores clean and uh, prevent it from getting clogged. 
and it brings the inflammation down from the night before. Then after that, you can put a nice layer of Aquaphor or Vaseline over it. Um, and that's to add another layer of skin of protection for the day. And then when you're wearing your N95 mask, hopefully that Aquaphor will mitigate the frictional rubbing on your face, thus preventing bruising or a medical term is called purpura of the face, okay? So the other thing is um, when you're done wearing your mask, your N95 mask, you would take it off and then um, while well, it's all irritated, you wanna use some cold water and wash your face, definitely with, with um, clean hands. And then you would get another layer of Aquaphor Vaseline at the end of your shift just to soothe the irritation. I love Aquaphor and Vaseline because this greasy ointment doesn't have alcohol in it like some of our lotions and creams out there. And those can cause burning and irritation. But Aquaphor and Vaseline, very gentle and soothing and it will help heal. We don't wanna dry out any wounds and um, that old wives tale of drying out your cut or your skin knee is not true. We want to moisturize the area that is traumatized to help bring in new epithelial cells to heal. So Aquaphor Vaseline, definitely my go-to for that. So finally, the question of does mask use lead to acne, acne flares? And I'm getting this question from both doctors and the general public, uh, you, because you're doing your part and wearing a mask when you're outdoors. So. Uh, good for you for doing that, but if you're noticing that you are getting acne with mask use, you're not alone. That is very common, and we're seeing that because what is happening is the mask, when it's covering your face, it is occluding your pores and introducing bacteria, debris, dirt, trapped sebum into the pore and causing inflammation. And like in the previous video, we talked about P. acnes being the bacteria that can um, cause acne. You're getting all this bacteria trapped into your face uh, and thus leading to inflammation and then acne. And it's usually superficial acne is what we're seeing in patients who are getting flares. Thankfully, not big cystic acne, but I'm sure that we'll definitely be seeing patients soon with cystic acne from mask use. Um, so what you wanna do is uh, definitely keep your mask clean. Depends on the frequency of what you're using your mask. If you're going out all the time, you wanna keep your, your mask clean and wash them and also get them in the dryer as well. Um, so it could be hand washing or throw it in the washing machine with warm or hot water. The other thing is when you put it in the dryer, that is a very important part because the drying puts in intense heat on your clothes or your mask and that will help disinfect it very well. And then now we're gonna go upstairs and I'll show you my regimen and specific products to use to prevent acne. And these are over-the-counter products that you have access to. They're affordable. I don't want you going to the store and spending a ton of money. Uh, so this is gonna be very affordable, easy access, and things you can do at home during this time. So for mask care, especially if you're a healthcare worker and you're done with your shift at the end of the day, you wanna wash your face with a good cleanser. I like Cetaphil's Oil Control Foam Wash for those with oil prone or acne prone skin. This is a really nice foaming wash that won't irritate your skin, but also helps remove oil very well. I also like, as I mentioned uh, before, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Lotion. And this is a very nice cleansing lotion for removing impurities, debris, dirt, makeup uh, at the end of the day. I like this a lot because it has hyaluronic acid, which I've mentioned before, retains moisture and increases your uh, the moisture in your skin. I want to caution you is if you're having acne, typically what I say over the counter, you want to go with a beta hydroxy acid wash or salicylic acid wash like Neutrogena. But in the case of you wearing an N95 mask that is causing uh, inflammation, irritation, or acne breakouts, I would not recommend this at this time. I would stick with the gentle cleansers like these for now. So at the end of the day, you'd use cold water to wash your face with those gentle cleansers. After you have it all nice and washed off, you could put a nice uh, hyaluronic acid serum to um, help seal in the moisture you picked up from the wash and it will help increase the water content like we talked about because it has hyaluronic acid. And after that, you can follow up with a nice ointment like Aquaphor or Vaseline. And as you can see here, this is this greasy ointment you guys are all familiar with. It is really like adding a second layer of skin. See how it has that nice protective barrier over the top? It just really seals in all that moisture that you picked up from washing the serum to this. So I love having this on hand. And when you start your day the next day, you wash your face, you might want to have this on before putting on your N95 mask. And I suspect that this um, should not 
interfere with the seal from your mask. It will just be a nice snug fit without the increased frictional uh, pressure or trauma that you're getting at the hospital. If all of these things fail and you still having acne breakouts, please see me or your dermatologist for additional help. We can either treat it with topicals or oral prescription medicines, depending on how severe it is. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you to our frontline healthcare workers for uh, all that you do, putting yourself out there, taking care of our community. And also thank you to the public. Thank you to you for wearing your mask, being responsible, staying indoors. But when you're going out doing essential business, you're wearing your mask. But I hope this video will help you if you are getting acne breakouts or just dryness from just having this um, foreign body over your face at all times. All right, I hope your skin stays clear during this time at home or while you're wearing your mask. If not, you know where to find me. Thanks for watching this video. Please press the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Take care, everyone. Peace. All right, and we're dropping off the kids. It's 8.30. Have a good day at school, guys. I love you. Love you, Dad. Thank you, sweetie.